maximum BTEC triple students do their final year project using MATLAB software. And even if you go to MTech, they are also doing project in MATLAB. Then what about PhD students? Yes, they also design their PhD projects using MATLAB software. Actually, we have so many softwares available for designing electrical circuits like PSPICE, CAD, Homers, etc. But why we prefer only MATLAB? To know the answer, let's get into video. Cleo Moller he was a professor of mathematics and computer science at the University of New Mexico. He got an idea to invent MATLAB software because he observed his students while writing programs to solve matrix problems like matrix multiplication, addition, subtraction, etc. It's too lengthy and we need to write so many of commands. To solve that problem, he invented MATLAB to give his students at the University of New Mexico for early access to numerical analysis in 1984. The name MATLAB itself indicates matrix laboratory. But MATLAB is not only for matrix manipulations. It allows plotting of functions and interfaces, data visualization, artificial intelligence and interfacing with programs written in other languages including C, C++, Java and Fortran. Let's see how MATLAB looks like. Open your MATLAB. If you open your MATLAB, it's looked like this. This is the command window. Here you can write the commands and this is the workspace and this is the current folder. Okay. So actually MATLAB may behave like a calculator or as a programming language. Let's see how MATLAB works as a calculator. If you give simply 1 plus 1 and then enter. That's it. It's the addition of two numbers. If you want to add 26 plus 17 then enter that's it if you want to multiply then 1 into 5 enter that's it 5 okay and if you want to give sign pi also so I want to know how much is sign pi then enter sign pi this is the your answer if you want to know how cos pi is how much cos pi is that's it and also sin 0 0 so this is how you can use MATLAB as a calculator ok now let's see how matrix problems solved for example I can take the matrix A is equal to open your square bracket if you want to add row elements here you can use a comma ok comma so I want to add row elements. Let's give one comma, two comma, three, and close your square bracket. Then enter. That's it. This is the row matrix. I am taking another example. Some matrix B is equal to. For add the columns, you can use the semicolon. Okay. I am giving one semicolon, two semicolon, three, and close your square bracket, and then enter. That's it. Here you can give the columns here okay now let's the combined matrix like 2 by 2 matrix or uh, anything else uh, I am taking the matrix C is equal to open your square bracket and then I want to take here 2 by 2 matrix so that's why uh, I am adding first row as 1 comma 2 and then second row second row is semicolon second row is 3 comma 4 and open and close your uh, square bracket then enter that's it. This is the 2 by 2 matrix. So, if you want to add 2 matrix, you need to give another matrix also. Some I taking D matrix that is equal to open your square bracket 3 comma 4 semicolon and 5 comma 6. Close your bracket. If you want to add matrix C and D, so simply give C plus D that is equal to sum of the C and D matrix if you want to multiply two matrix C and D just give C into D 
that's it that is the multiplication of two matrix okay let's see how three by three matrix is for example i am taking the matrix ca is equal to open your square bracket one comma two comma three first row and second row is three comma four comma five and third row is five comma six comma seven and close your uh, square bracket then enter this is the three by three matrix so if i want to find out the determinant of this matrix just give det that of a that is equal to the answer that is the determinant of a so if you want to find out the rank just give command rank of a that is the two two is the rank of the our three by three matrix if you want to find out eigen values and eigen vectors just simply give eag of a that's it. that is the eigen values and eigen vectors of our three by three matrix so matlab is very simple software for doing mathematical analysis and the main feature in matlab for electrical engineering students is matlab symlink here we have the matlab symlink okay so click on blank model so here you can design the circuits without using any commands you can directly take the elements okay so for taking the elements we have symlink library this is the option we have the symlink library here we have the all blocks and elements is there okay so actually matlab is not only for triple students you have so many of branches so if you see this this is the aerospace block sheets here all aeronautical engineers can also use the matlab and you have communication system toolbox here ec students also doing matlab and you have dsp system toolbox means digital signal processing system toolbox here again ec students also use matlab symlink so for triple e students go to symlink and then power systems specialized technology here you can get the your electrical blocks okay so for electrical sources sources means power giving sources okay like ac source dc source and three phase ac source like that and go to elements then you can get the elements like uh, rlc branches like that okay and then for machines go to machines and you can get the motors and generators and all like that for measuring purpose so here you can get the measurement blocks like voltage measurement current measurement so like that okay so if you want to take fact devices also here the option that is facts so here you can get the triple sc svc upfc statcom like that this is all the fact devices you can take it and for renewable analysis go to renewables here you can get the solars and wind power generation blocks it's also okay so this is the all complete triple blocks where in simscape go to power systems then specialized technology here you can get the all electrical circuit elements okay so for simply i am taking the one sine wave for understanding purpose so if you want to uh, add the element click on the block and right click then go add to blank model that's it so i am again taking some scope also so no need to again right click and add to blank model just click on it and just control i that is the shortcut for adding your block okay now connect these two blocks and double click on sine wave here you can edit the values this is the sine wave with the amplitude of 1 and phase angle is 0 and frequency is 1 radian per second click on it that's it so this is the run option this is the time period 10 okay so just run it and see the your waveform in scope okay so here we have, we have the sine wave with one amplitude and time period is 10 so you can also change that once go to amplitude and take in 20 and so i'm taking the time period is 25 and run it now see the waveform here you can get the 20 amplitude sine wave with 25 time period that's it okay like this you can connect the blocks in matlab symbol so we can use matlab two ways for programming here and for designing like this if you take another software like pspice you can only design circuits by giving commands nothing but programming if you take autocad you can only design circuits but you can't see any results or outputs 
and you don't have any option for programming. That's why so many students use MATLAB. And MATLAB also a high level language, means you don't have to write any command for compiler. After enter the enter button, it directly shows output unlike C language. Now MathWorks company is responsible for development, sale and support for MATLAB. MathWorks releases two versions in the year, like in the year 2016, it releases 2016A in first 6 months and 2016B in next 6 months.